And this week is a little bit special because on the 22nd, it is actually Earth Day. So I thought I would make our last notebook kind of Earth Day themed. So this will be kind of our language and science notebook combined. So your first um, assignment is that you're going to go to read works again and I've left how you're going to be accessing that um, and you're going to be doing the a day to celebrate earth reading as well as the quiz that goes with that. Uh, next you're going to do this little kind of survey about what you um, do at home now. So you're going to read the question. You can move these little um, X's over at the side to fill in always, sometimes, or never for each of these questions. And then based off of your answers, you are then going to say how you are currently helping the earth and then what you might need to work on. So what are some areas of improvement that you might have. The next is going to be your writing for this week. So you are going to be saying three ways that you can save the environment. So you're going to come up with uh, way number one, number two, and number three. And then you're going to give me some more detail as to maybe how that's helping the environment, why that's a good option, maybe why that's something that you are able to do as a fourth grade student. Um, so be realistic here in what you are coming up with. Okay, you have a section for your first draft, just like normal. First draft, um, your page for editing, and then a good copy page. Okay, and you guys know how to work those by now. Um, again, a little bit more writing. So you're going to think about our earth and our environment, and you're going to use your five senses to come up with some examples of um, things that we find in the earth and in our environment. So you're going to come up with some, some things that we touch, some things that we... Um, see, taste, hear, and smell. If you could come up with at least three examples for each, that would be great. Um, next, you're going to brainstorm some ways that we can reduce, reuse, and recycle at home and at school. Again, I'd encourage at least three for each of these boxes as well. Uh, next, you're going to look into renewable versus non-renewable resources. So you're gonna start by watching this video here. It's a little Bill and I video. You guys know how much I love Bill and I the science guy. Um, next, you're going to choose one of the uh, renewable energy sources uh, found here. So you're gonna choose either, either solar, wind, or hydroelectricity. And then you're gonna use this link here to do a bit of research about your topic. So this link will bring you to this website here, and then you can click on your um, renewable energy that you are researching at the side and find out a bit more information about it. You are going to record your information in the next slide. So you're going to tell me what energy source you researched and then five facts that you found. Okay, you're also welcome to do additional research outside of that website if you want to. I just found this website to be um, reader friendly. So it's written in a way that I think um, you as fourth grade students are going to be able to understand. Um, and you don't have to be searching all over the internet for. Um, and then lastly, if you are able to, and this is uh, at your parents' discretion, um, you can take a little nature walk, and I'd love it if you could include four pictures of things that you see on your nature walk in a description or a caption um, of what I am seeing in the picture. So four things that you see on your nature walk. This could be your backyard if you're not able to go too far. Um, if you're able to go on a nice nature walk, that would be awesome. Um, but again, at your parents' discretion, what you're able to do. And then I've also included within this um, some optional activities that I thought were really cool, um, but they require some different materials. So I'm just making it as optional. If you're able to, if you want to, if you have the time, you're looking for something else to do, these might be two things that you want to explore. So this is a pizza box solar oven. Um, you could also do it with a different type of box, just they're suggesting a pizza box in that case. And then this one is comparing light bulbs. This one you need um, 
a thermometer for and you need some different types of light bulbs. So if you have some of those older style light bulbs kicking around, um, you could do a little bit of an experiment there. Uh, so good luck. Um, have a happy Earth Day and I can't wait to see all your hard work.